Appalachian dulcimer is not only from our region, but it's made right here in Hazard, Kentucky, right off Main Street. Not only is it the Kentucky State instrument, but I hear it's an easy instrument to play with only three or four strings. So I'm hoping to go inside to this church here and not only learn how to make it, but hopefully how to play it. Got my fingers crossed. The word dulcimer is thought by many to be derived from the Latin word dulci, which means sweet, and the Greek word melos, which means melody. The Appalachian dulcimer is mainly used in traditional folk music heard in the southeastern region. It was designated as the official state musical instrument of Kentucky in 2001. I'm here with Jeff Lambert, who happens to be the pastor of the Lothair United Methodist Church, but also makes these beautiful Ginny Wiley dulcimers. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about that. Oh, well, I started making dulcimers in um, about 1999. I got started because my wife uh, gave me a dulcimer for Christmas, and it was a beautiful dulcimer, but I wanted a handmade one. So I ran across a gentleman by the name of John Carl Ramey in Carter City, Kentucky. And John Carl uh, took me under his wing. He was my mentor. And for weeks, I suppose, he led me through the building process. And so um, I made one for me, and then you know what how it is. Mommy wants one, uh, brother <laughs> wants one. And before long, it was, uh, I was in the Dulcimer building business. You were in the business, that's right. <laughs> that's nice. Do you make them custom to order or do you kind of have a, a certain, do you make them all kind of the same? No, no. I'll make them however folks want with the, whatever kind of a sound hole design they would like. This is uh, called an hourglass dulcimer. You can see it's kind of shaped like an hourglass. Mm -hmm. Some are, I call this one a traditional shape. This okay. is a style that John Carl taught me to build. Okay. Some are uh, are real narrow here and get wide at the bottom. They look like a teardrop. They're, that's what they're called, teardrop. Now, is this all for aesthetic reason, or does it make a difference in the sound? Does it affect the sound? Oh, it depends on who you ask. Okay. If uh, this is your favorite style, then it sounds the best. Uh, <laughs> the truth is, um, I, I can't tell much difference. Okay. Now, I do make one that's called a Kentucky Coffin Dulcimer, okay. and it's square. Now, okay. it seems to me that it plays louder than all the rest of them simply because it's bigger. Okay. So, uh, I, if somebody wants one, they get a hold of me, I'll make it, and I'll make it out of the wood they want, too. Okay. Because you know, a lot of folks like different kinds of wood. The dulcimer, if you notice, Miss Amy, has a big string right here. Mm -hmm. That string's bigger than these. Mm -hmm. And this string is tuned traditionally to the, the note of D. Okay. And then these three strings are all tuned exactly the same, traditionally, to the note of A. Wonderful. Well, so uh, you say the dulcimer is easy to play. I mean, I'm, I'm a little bit instrument uh, challenged. Mm. So uh, how, would you, how would you play an instrument like this? Well, it only has seven notes. Uh, we don't use any music because most dulcimer players are uh, musically noted challenged. Yeah. <laughs> so we play with tablature and, um, and so it's easy to play and I promise you, Miss Amy, that I can have you playing dulcimer before you leave here today. Okay, no pressure. <laughs> okay, I'm excited. There you go. All right, so we have a book here that has the tablature written. Okay. As you can see, there's the words of the song, okay. and there is the numbers. And those numbers, won't you hold that, Miss okay. Amy, if you would. Those numbers, see, are 0, 3, 5, 5, et cetera. Okay. And here's, we always strum all four strings like this. And so nothing is zero. That makes sense, doesn't okay. it? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we go 1, 2, 3. See that 3? Mm-hmm. And we strum one time. And then the next one is a 5. We go 5. Then we have another 5. Then we have a four, then we have a three, then we have a one, and then we have a O. Oh. So let's hear. Okay. O, oh, three, five, five, four, three, one, O. Oh. That's pretty good. I notice sometimes you get a little slide on it. It's yeah, kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a little it blues won't do that. in there. It won't, it won't do that starting right <laughs> off, but 
But I promise okay. you, I'm going to have you playing Amazing Grace here just in a minute. Okay, good. The Appalachian dulcimer is a fretted string instrument. Traditionally, this instrument has three or four strings, which give the melody, middle, and bass sounds. Due to the limited number of strings, the dulcimer is generally regarded the easiest string instrument to learn how to play. Scoot over here and be my buddy. All right. I have a certain right. pick here. I'm going to hold this for you. Okay. Now, what I want you to do is notice here's the tablature. Mm -hmm. And I'll help hold the dulcimer okay. for you. And the first one, is, it goes just right across through there. Zero. Okay. And zero. that's right here. Uh -huh. And then three. Okay, wait. One, two, three. Got it. Then a five. And another five. Three, one, oh. Go on. Oh, three, five, five, four, seven. Okay, now, Miss Amy, let me encourage you okay. to only hold these two strings. Try not to let your finger hit this string. Okay, my big Flintstone finger. Mm, that big <laughs> fingernail you got there. Okay. <laughs> Okay. All right, let's start over, okay? All right, let's All right. do it. All right, here we go. Pacing. I'm telling you, you are a natural. <laughs> oh, yes. Great job. Thank you. 